Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Ikra Hafiz and you're watching Desi TV USA. Let's have a look at the news. US President Joe Biden has announced that Russia has released American basketball star Brittany Griner. She is safe. She is on a plane. She is going home after months of unfair detention in Russia. In the arms of her loved ones and, uh, and she should have been there all along. She wrote to me back in July. She didn't ask for special treatment, even though we've been working on a release from the day one. She requested a simple quote, please don't forget about me and the other American detainees. Please do all you can to bring us home. We never forgot about Brittany. We've not forgotten about Paul Whelan, who's been unjustly detained in Russia for years. This was not a choice of which American to bring home. We brought home Trevor Reed when we had a chance early this year. Sadly, for totally illegitimate reasons, Russia is treating Paul's case differently than Brittany's. And while we have not yet succeeded in securing Paul's release, we are not giving up. Um, today, my family is whole, but as you all are aware, there are so many other families who are not whole. And so, BG's not here to say this, but I will gladly speak on her behalf and say that BG and I will remain committed to the work of getting every American home, including Paul, whose family is in our hearts today as we celebrate BG being home. We do understand that there are still people out here who are enduring what I endured the last nine months of missing tremendously their loved ones. So thank you everybody for your support. Um, and today is just a happy day for me and my family. So um, I'm going to smile right now. <laughs> um, thank you. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi held our weekly news conference after Congress approved legislation granting federal recognition of same-sex marriage, a move promoted by concerns that the Supreme Court will overturn the legality of such relationships may withdraw its support for identification. Today, having passed the Respect for Marriage Act, a landmark decision, landmark law, change in the law uh, for full equality. So it is uh, a glorious day here in the House. Now the federal government will never stand in the way of anyone marrying the person you love. This morning was also a moment of personal pride. Signing, th signing this legislation is one of the last bills that I signed in the enrollment ceremony as Speaker of the House. Uh, it was uh, my first speech on the floor when they, I was sworn in and had just like a moment to speak, was about the, I've come here to fight against HIV and AIDS. That was my very first words on the floor of the House. And one of the final bills as Speaker the first time around that I signed, December 2010, was the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. So now here we are now, and we have the repeal, and we have the uh, Respect for Marriage Act. And what it does, it, um, it repeals certain things. How wonderful is it that on the same day that Brittany Griner is going to be free, thank you, President Biden, thank you to Secretary of State and other national security people, and to my, our colleague, Greg Stanton, who represents uh, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, in the Congress. Uh, uh, he has brought her here. We have met her uh, when she was here playing and basketball. And uh, now, today, she is free, free to go home to her wife on the same day that we passed the Marriage Protection Act. So we are respect for marriage, the Respect for Marriage Act. So we're just... U.S. State Department spokesman Ned Price has condemned the public execution of an accused by the Afghan Taliban, calling it disappointing. U.S. State Department spokesman Ned Price told reporters that we have seen these disturbing videos that have been circulating online in recent days. Ned Price said that this incident shows that the Taliban want to return to the repressive and conservative behavior of the 1990s. It was against the owner of all the Afghans then, and it is still against the owner of all the Afghans. He demanded the Taliban to fulfill their promises. Reports that the Taliban has ordered judges to uh, impose uh, their interpretation of seeing the reports of uh, a public execution today. We've seen despicable videos that have circulated online in recent days uh, regarding some of these tactics. 
This indicates to us that the Taliban uh, seek to seek a return to their regressive and abusive practices of the 1990s. It was an affront to the dignity and human rights of all Afghans. Then it would be an affront to the dignity and the human rights. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken was holding a joint news conference with Swedish Foreign Minister Tobias Bullstrom and Finnish Foreign Minister Pika Husto. Blankenship is expected to discuss the release of American basketball star Brittany Greener from a Russian prison. Brittany, who is now on her way back home to the United States after a long, unjust and wrongful detention. Uh, listening uh, to them connect for the first time since Brittany has been freed uh, was as moving as it was unforgettable. Uh, their strength, their resilience uh, have been nothing short of inspiring. Uh, let me just express my own gratitude to the State Department team and to our colleagues across the United States government who worked tirelessly to secure Brittany Griner's release. Um, I especially want to commend our special presidential envoy for hostage affairs Roger Karstens and his entire team. Roger's actually accompanying Brittany home as we speak. Um, I also extend our thanks to our Emirati friends who assisted in Brittany's transfer today. Securing the release of Americans who have been wrongfully detained is a top priority for me as Secretary of State. And it's something that we work on every single day. And so while we're elated at Brittany returning home, we continue to work relentlessly to bring Paul Whelan home as well. Despite our efforts, the Russian government has not yet been willing to end his wrongful detention. They continue to insist on sham charges of espionage and are treating Paul's case differently. As a result, Paul and his loved ones continue to suffer needlessly and unjustly. This was not a choice of which American to bring home. The choice was one or none. I wholeheartedly wish that we could have brought Paul home today on the same plane as Brittany, just as at the time I wish we could have brought Brittany and Paul home when we secured the release of Trevor Reed back in April. But we will stay at it. The two countries signed agreements to harmonize Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 and China's Belt and Road project. Chinese President Xi Jinping met Saudi King Salman and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in Riyadh on Thursday. During this time, contracts worth $30 billion were signed. Xi Jinping is also participating in the Six Nation Gulf Cooperation Council Summit. Saudi Arabia's official media reported that the two countries signed agreements worth $30 billion, including contracts for infrastructure and energy projects. Huge achievement for new Army Chief Hilal Imtiaz Military Award for Army Chief General Asim Munir and Chairman Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee General Sahir Shamshad. And staff and his sectional assignments. His major staff appointments include Brigade Major of a Deployed Infantry Brigade, General Staff Officer in Chief of General Staff Secretariat, Directing Staff in Command Staff College Quetta, and Chief of Staff of a Strike Corps. He has commanded his parent Unit 23, 24 Regiment. Infantry Brigade, Force Command Northern Areas, and 30 Corps. He has also led Pakistan training contingent in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The General has the unique honor to head both the premier intelligence agencies of Pakistan as Director General of Military Intelligence and Director General Inter Services Intelligence. Before his promotion and appointment as Chief of Army Staff, the General was Quartermaster General of Pakistan Army. He was promoted to the rank of General and appointed as Chief of Army Staff. General Headquarters on 29th November 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of Islamic Republic of Pakistan has been pleased to confer the award of Nishani Mtiaz Military upon General Sayyid Asim Munir Ahmed Shah, Chief of the Army Staff. Now I request General Sayyid Asim Munir Ahmed Shah, Chief of the Army Staff, to, to come forward and receive the award of Nishani Mtiaz from the President of Islamic Republic of Pakistan.
federal cabinet meeting was held in Islamabad under the chairmanship of Prime Minister Muhammad Shehbaz Sharif. The federal cabinet approved the restoration of 11 cancelled petroleum exploration licenses on the recommendation of the petroleum division. As a result of this move, exploration activities will start in these 11 blocks. In federal cabinet meeting, the post-disaster needs assessment report was presented by the Federal Ministry of Planning in the context of 2022 floods in Pakistan. PDNA Federal Ministry of Planning in collaboration with World Bank, Asian Development Bank, European Union, United Nations, all provisional governments, Government of Gilgit Baltistan, Government of Azad Jammu and Kashmir, Civil Society, Academia and NGOs arranged. Under this assessment, the damage is caused by floods in 94 districts, especially the damage is caused to 17 major sectors of the economy, including health, agriculture, industry infrastructure, communication, etc. The meeting discussed the damage caused by the flood. The meeting was told that the, according to the report, Sindh province was the most affected by the flood and the agricultural sector was badly affected by the flood. Chaired a meeting of Manpower Export Coordination Committee. The implementation status of previous recommendations of the committee was discussed in detail. It was stressed to get all stakeholders on board so as to ensure swift dispatch of Pakistani workforce to abroad for employment in different fields such as IT, healthcare and engineering etc. Qatar has launched an investigation into the death of a worker after reports that a Filipino man died during training. In FIFA World Cup 2022, magnificent scenes of Morocco's victory celebration. The Muslim Umar rejoices, let us see some of this moment in video. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching Desi TV USA or visit our website desitvusa.com.